Welcome to the Water Cube. Can you um, just quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you for this opportunity. My name is Isaka Bali Mamusa. I am the project manager for WhatsApp, Water and Sanitation for Urban Poor in Ghana. Uh, it's a membership organization made up of academia, private sector, and NGO, basically responding to the challenges of underserved urban settlers. You can call them urban poor or um, uh, low income areas in urban areas. Basically, we're working with local utilities or local service providers, that is, uh, water companies and local authorities, to work with them to find innovative mechanisms or in ways to reach these low income areas to get water and sanitation services accessible to them and to make it very affordable and also facilitate a participatory process that makes them take part in the planning and decision making process. Okay, so concretely you're working in, in Kumasi, you told yeah, me, yeah. and who, who, I mean you say you work with utilities and who are some of the other stakeholders that yeah, we you're are, engaging with yeah, we have, uh, the or have in your network? Yeah, we have the communities, uh, we have the um, Water Utility Company, GWCL, we have uh, the City Authority, that is KMA, Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly, and specifically the Waste Management Department. The project is um, was up received funding from USAID, and then implementing partners are Care International yeah. and Water Aid in Ghana. So, so what, what exactly are you doing? I mean, are you already looking at particular solutions? Yeah. Or you know, are you still just kind of networking and building partnerships? We've built partnership, we've built a very good enabling environment, and now we are working with the utilities to provide water and sanitation services. Yeah. Constructions are already underway. We developed devolved management structures okay. where we have community management committee having memorandum of understanding with the water utility to manage the water on behalf of the water utility. Okay. The same with the sanitation. It, this is to make sure that, especially with the sanitation, to make sure that there is no political interference in the management of public toilets. And that's a key issue in Ghana. Mm. There's so much political interest in the public toilet because it's big business. But we have formed this representative uh, organization, community-based organization, to make sure that we insulate it from political interference. To also make sure that there's post-construction support to this uh, community committee. So We've had what 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 kind of post-construction support do they need? Do they require? Yes. I mean, if it's business, then I imagine. They're yeah. making money. Yeah, they're making money. They need to be financial uh, management of the mm -hmm. money, the administrative support, technical support. And in that case, we've made the utilities to have representatives of the committee, ex officio members of the committee, mm -hmm. so that they can provide technical support to this committee after the project has gone mm -hmm. and can check the committee yeah. because they have an interest in the water system. They have an interest in the sanitation block because the asset ownership is with the utilities and not the community. The community are just acting as maybe a private person that will be managing it. Mm. A kind of a franchise management arrangement. Okay. But we form this committee to give the committee community a voice yeah. in the service provision. Okay. To empower them to be able to demand for accountable service, improved service, to also support them to use revenue that would come as profit from managing these facilities to undertake certain community level activities like sanitation, household yeah. train promotion, yeah. hygiene, and all that. Okay, great. Well, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you too.